Bees also get sick, and tree diseases are often caused by fungal infections. And we think this is really important and exciting to study here at our Department of Forest Mycology and Plant Pathology. And one of the most important or bad tree diseases in, in, the, in Sweden is, is root rot or conifers, which on the European scale is causing the forest owners about 2 million euros losses per day. And the, this fungus is really it produces small spores that are spread with the wind and they land on stump surfaces in forest operations and from there they grow down into the stumps and into the root systems and over to the trees nearby. But the root, but the, the, the decay inside the stem is devaluating the timbers so it cannot be used. And this is an old disease that has been around for a long time but there are also new diseases and one of them is the ash dieback that is uh, causing death of ash trees. And this, nobody really knew about this disease 20 years back in time. And it has uh, since then uh, started to spread in Europe and now it's almost in all parts where you can find ash trees growing. And in Sweden it's, uh, the ash is on the red list of threatened species because of this disease. And we understand today that this is a fungus that has been introduced to Europe from Asia and it's an example of this the impact of the increased trade the global trade and, and also the, the global warming that changed the, the uh, we increased the, the risk of introducing new diseases and at the department we're also working at uh, to understand how the interaction between trees and pathogens is going on what is the resistance mechanism in the trees and what is the factors that cause the, the, the fungi to become more pathogenic. And we also try to um, mitigate the problems by working together with forestry on producing more resistant trees, for example uh, spruce trees without root rot and ash trees without the ash dieback.